This lecture will discuss the pulmonary embolism rule-out criteria. The PER clinical decision rule can help identify patients who will not benefit from further testing. However, it can only be applied to patients who have a low pretest probability of a pulmonary embolism. Utilization of these criteria is not recommended for patients in which the degree of suspicion is intermediate or high. The rule set has eight criteria. The first three are age less than 50, heart rate less than 100, and arterial oxygen saturation of 95% or greater. For the next five criteria, none of the following should be positive. There should be no prior history of a deep venous thrombosis or a pulmonary embolism, no recent surgery or trauma requiring hospitalization, no hemoptysis, that is, no coughing up of blood, no exogenous estrogen use, such as the contraceptive pill, and no unilateral leg swelling. If all eight criteria are met, then the risk of pulmonary embolism is sufficiently low that no further testing is required. Indeed, additional testing actually presents an equivalent or greater risk to the patient than the risk of a MISC diagnosis. Thus, neither D-dimer measurements nor imaging studies are recommended for patients in a low prevalence setting who meet all the PER criteria. Further testing may be necessary if one or more of these criteria are not met, and when a patient has an intermediate or high pretest probability of pulmonary embolism, thus prohibiting the use of the PERC clinical decision rule.